Welcome everyone to our presentation at the Photonix Plus uh, platform today. I am Alexander Teller, the CEO of ACM, the German subsidiary of Aktar. Aktar is an Israeli technology company and we are specialized in the development and the application of uh, ultra black light absorbing coatings and coated foils. There are three general applications for our products. You can use them to suppress stray light, to absorb laser power, uh, or to create high emissivity surfaces. We are active in the wide field of photonics and with that in most of the technical markets like industrial vision and sensors, life science, analytics, medical lasers, semiconductors, and also space. Today, let's uh, speak about the availability and usefulness of uh, BLDF and TIS data, total integrated scatter data from uh, relevant surfaces in uh, optical systems. Let's start talking about the why and the when to think about scattered light at all. Many of you know that scattered light can have a traumatic impact on the quality and performance of an optical system. If you address this challenge, for example, with a deep black absorber coatings, you can easily positively influence the image quality, the contrast, or even the sensitivity in the system. And this at the level of the hardware and not at the later stage in the image processing. Taking these considerations into account as early as possible in the development process helps to clarify the necessity of scattered light suppression measures. In this way, it is possible to increase performance or to reduce the complexity of the optical setup with a relatively little effort. But also later in the product life cycle, integration of measures for stray light optimization can provide benefits for example higher or more reliable quality of the system i believe there are at least two ways to approach stray light optimization trial and error testing or simulation and analysis although we have a lot of experience with trial and error projects believe me and I believe also you have. Um, I would like to advertise stray light simulation and analysis today. It's an important tool in the development of high performance optical instruments, but the simulation can only be as good as the data that is put in. The BLDF is used to describe the scattering behavior of optical surfaces. How it works is described in the image here on the left. And this is what we have measured for all our products in the past months to give you the best possible fundament for your simulations. The data, which is now freely available to every interested optical designer, is on a completely new level in its extent. It provides an unprecedented basis for the development and simulation of optical systems. And we are fully transparent with the performance of our products and show what is really relevant for the optical design and not only what looks good. So we have had a special focus on larger angles of incidence, for example, as this is where the most changes for reflectance behavior happens. And here on the left, you uh, see a very nice visualization of the BLDF performance of one of our direct coatings, Magic Black, uh, just as an example of what is included in our database. Here you can see the technical parameters of our available data. Um, you can see here that we have uh, measured uh, quite a lot uh, angle of incidences, so 10 degrees, 30 degrees, 50, 70, and 80 degrees uh, incoming light uh, on the probe. And uh, we have measured in two different wavelength ranges, 
indivisible with a white light source and in the near infrared with a monochrome 1.55 micrometers uh, laser source. We have also measured the uh, TIS uh, values of our coatings in the visible and the near infrared. We are currently working with all major optical design and scattered light simulation software providers to integrate our data into their material databases. For example, with uh, companies like uh, CMAX, uh, for softwares with uh, RayCheck One, Synopsys uh, softwares, uh, FRED, uh, and so on. But you can also get this data directly from us right away. Just ask us. That's it for the BRDF database. Uh, and now I want to give you a summary of the advantages of our ultra black coatings. What is special about our technology is that the coatings are working in an extremely broad wavelength range in the UV, in the visible, but also far into the infrared. They are temperature resistant and durable, and we can apply them to most materials. Um, there are really only two restrictions. The material must be vacuum compatible and temperature resistant to roughly 120 degrees Celsius. So we can apply the coatings to almost every metal, but also to glass, ceramics, silicon, and also to temperature resistant plastics. Our technology, our coatings are inorganic and they are qualified for demanding applications like for space, for ultra high vacuum, but also for clean room and semiconductor environments. What is uh, special and really helpful in different optical applications is that we are able to conformably coat sharp edges and complex geometries. And that helps, for example, with uh, baffles, wanes, and apertures, even pinhole apertures, where we are able to apply the coating to. The coating is relatively thin, speaking about uh, a nominal five micrometers for the visible and near infrared wavelength range coating thickness. Um, and it's ROHS and REACH compliant, and this uh, won't also won't change in the near future. In these SEM images here on the left, you can see how our coatings work. We create a surface morphology from a composition of metal metal oxide structures that lead to a high specific surface area. And with that to a sliding refractive index from uh, the medium air, for example, into the coating. So how can you make use of our technology? We have two options for you. One we call direct coating, where the coating is applied directly to a discrete component. It's uh, done in a proprietary vacuum deposition process at our premises. And a typical example is shown here in the picture, a lens housing with a quite complex geometry. Um, the second option is the use of our coated foils. They wear the same coating on a thin film substrate. Typically, an adhesive backing is added, and we supply you with sheets or customized pre cuts and die cuts. Very easy and convenient to use. Also, the foils are available with space grade materials, for example, with polyamide uh, or Kapton substrate, optional with VDA layers on one or both sides, and uh, Actors Black coating on one side. That can be a typical application as a single layer or multi-layer insulation. As already said in the beginning, we are active in various markets and applications. Here is just a partial overview. Wherever light is generated, shaped, and detected, there is always light that, distur distur that disturbs and is undesirable. And actor black coatings suppress and absorb this scattered light, and with that enhance the performance uh, of the optical system and with that i end my presentation but not without asking you to contact us by phone email or at linkedin or here on the photonics plus platform looking forward to it give us your stray light problem and we want to solve it thank you very much